How you doing, sis? What's your name? Thelma. Thelma. Come on over, Thelma. We're talking about the, the importance of Jesus Christ and his image. Right. All right? The depiction of his image. You have a young daughter? Is she a young daughter? Yes. It's important for her to know. Now, my question is, right, if the description of Christ is in the Bible and he just is described as a black man, Come on. why do they portray him in the churches? And the, in wherever you go in the stores and the stores, as being a white man, why? Why is that? Why is that? And, and a common phrase that you hear is, "Oh, it don't matter what color Christ is." Right. Have you ever heard that, Sister Emma? I have. What about you, Sister Mary? What about you, Brother D? You heard that, right? You know what that's called? That's called um, uh, trying to, to filter out, trying to uh, right, right. Yes. Absolutely. Trying to just run past stuff. Like, oh, oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Look at this. Look at this right here. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to run past who Christ was because the reason why it's important is because if you know what your Lord looks like, your, the, the God, what God looks like, then you got power in that. All right? Give me Psalms chapter 83. Give me Psalms 83, because they they uh, they did this so that way we would not know who we are. They don't want us to know that we're the greatest thing that walked the face of this earth. Because if we knew that, we would turn our lives around. That's right. Right. We would we would come out of the ways that we're living today and start living righteously. All right. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse one. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O oh God. So our forefather David is praying and, and asking God, don't be silent anymore. Don't hold your peace anymore, God. Read. For lo, thine enemies. Thy what? Thine enemy. So what we're talking about is the enemies of God are going to do something in particular. Read on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So they make an angry gathering. Those that hate the Lord make an angry gathering. And listen to what they say. The enemies of God. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They've taken crafty counsel against God's people. The twelve tribes of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they have taken crafty counsel against us. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. And consulted against us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because you guys have a cigarette, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you crafty counsel that they gave to us, right? Because we shouldn't be smoking, all right? We should not be smoking. But what they do, when we weren't buying the, the normal cigarettes, what they do to the cigarettes? They put out the, the menthol. And who did they, they put that towards? Our communities, right? The crafty council, they put us all in one area, right? Call it low, low, uh, low, uh, low income, income housing, right? And push us all together. And when you have low income housing, a lot of poor, lower income people, right? What's that going to cause? Strife, division, right? All these things are the crafty council that they've done unto us, right? Then also, wick. Brother D, what does WIC stand for? No, no. It's uh, Sustelma. Yes. What does WIC stand for? WIC. Women and big children. There you go. Where's the man in there? Absolutely. Where is the man? They took the man out of the household purposely. Right. Why? Because that then breaks the structure. That then leads to single parent households, fornication. People are not getting married anymore because, oh, I can't marry you because if I marry you, then I won't get my benefits. I won't be able to get my free groceries because if I'm married, I cannot be uh, with Wick. I cannot be with uh, staying in his housing because there's no more women, infant, and children. Now the man is trying to come in, so they kick the man out of the household. How y'all doing, family? So we're teaching about the Bible and what the enemies of God did to his chosen people. That's All right? right? Read that. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh -huh. That the name of Israel. That the name of who? That the name of Israel. That the name of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from the 12 tribes of Israel may be what? 
may be no more in remembrance. So we may no more call ourselves Israelites. All right? So this was the crafty council they put up the white man to make you worship him as God. Right. All right? Where's my brother at? The, the pastor. Right? The pastor, when they go to get their uh, certification, where do they have to go? Y'all know? Theological school, right? Yeah. And who is teaching that? Come on. I... Who is teaching that? The enemy. Well, if if you had your your uh, your captive in captivity, would you teach him how to break free? No. Teach? Absolutely not. You gonna take crafty counsel and make him think that he's free? Right. But he's truly not free. He's still serving you. Right. And that is what they've done. They've taken this Bible and they said, "Love your enemies." Hmm. Right. They say that, but they never give you the biblical understanding of these things. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 